What's going on guys? Rough Riders here. I have not done a uh, truck wash video in a very long time. Uh, that's because uh, I've always been coming here to my home car wash uh, to wash a, uh, my truck here. And what I didn't do is we actually got a new system back in April and I realized I never reviewed it for you guys because we haven't had a truck wash episode since like last month or January. As you can see, we already see what we're dealing with here, a uh, Wash World Razor. 2019 edition. So we're going to review that today. All right, roll the intro. I have a monthly uh, subscription, so I'm going to use my phone to scan the wash, and I will, guys, I will show you the uh, wash options here. So we're dealing with a Wash World Razor, and these are becoming uh, quite popular uh, these days. So here's how we're going to do this. So I have my phone here. Well, this is cold expired, but I can do it again. We have, there's an app here for this car wash, so I'm on the wash club, so I'm just going to tap this on my phone here. There's the wash options, $15, uh, 13 11 and $8. Dollars. There you go. All right, we're all set. I believe this is episode 13. It's been a while since the truck wash. Let's see if we can get that leaf off my truck. <laughs> By the way, with all Wash World Razor systems, they always talk to you. It's talking, you just can't hear it. We have it turned down because why the hell do we need to listen to it all day? You don't hear it. There you go. Just in case you guys, you Wash World fanboys want to hear your your car wash system. All right, here we go. Pre-soak. Ice coating. These wash world systems have become very reliable lately. And uh, they've been starting to pop up all over the map in my area. As a matter of fact, the next truck wash episode will be landing at another car wash that I've already visited. And they used to have a wash world high velocity system, but I drove by the other day and they got three brand new auto systems, including one soft touch. So we'll go check that out in the next episode. But in the meantime, we're dealing with the razor here. Another round of pre-soak. Sign says soaking.
Now you car wash fanboys, what we used to have in this bay was a laser wash 4000 before we put the razor in, if you're curious. We actually have two bays. The other one next door still has the uh, laser wash 4000. We just only upgraded one bay for now. Triple foam. You can hear the other car wash over there being used right now. Nice triple foam. Top overhead jets. Sign says soaking, but I believe it's supposed to be Karanuba wax. Just the lights burnt out. Nice coating. Sign says clear coat. Spot for your rinse. I like how the razor systems blow down the top jets before they do spot free rinse. So no non-spot free doesn't drip on the car. my loud truck over the dryers. There we go. Washable manufactured dryers. They do an okay job. I mean, He was looking at me going why are they filming <laughs> well that's it guys pretty solid wash like i said those wash world systems are very reliable and they're really good really good stuff 
So there you go, guys. There goes another truck watch episode. Stay tuned. We'll have another episode here coming up where we're going to revisit one of my other favorite locations that they used to have three Washwood high velocities, but they all are brand new now. And when I drove by, uh, there's one soft touch and three or two touchless. So we're going to see what that's all about. And I'm assuming it's probably more razors because that car wash has a lot of Washworld stuff. So because the touch base system was a wash world. So I'm assuming those ones are razors too. So, all right guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.